usually I like to block in the offlane. I like to do uh, where I block all the melee and I let the range pass. Yeah, I try um, to do that too. Yeah. Yeah, normally I go to the rune, especially with X, because yeah, you have. I think that. I think in the offlane, I actually think that's probably maybe one of the most important block in the game. Um, so I would just let the range creep pass now, yeah, and then block the other ones. Uh, you have another hero in your team, so it's not that important to block, I guess. But yeah. they might actually, they nah, they're not gonna. Tr they might actually try lane it. Um, it's anti mage. That's good. Yeah. But they they're probably gonna have uh, Lina and Dazzle as well. Oh, bad! I have a fucking. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. My my uh, mouse cursor was fucked up. Ah, okay. okay. But it's it's okay now. Yeah. Um, but what's very important you need to be aware of that is that they might actually have a, 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 a defensive trial lane. Yeah. And right now, they are, two people are missing from the map. So they might even gank Nico mid or they might yeah. go on the invoker. But we see that we just saw Lina. Yeah, on the I map. feel very confident with... With X. Um, with, yeah, with X and with the uh, Legion Commander. Yeah. And I will go to the forest or disturb them. S yeah. It's really like a level 2. You can. If you catch anyone out, it's yeah, just. Uh, yeah. Anti Mage is not very playing good, I think. It, is, it has a really hard lane. It's, yeah, um, that's not nice for him. No. Um. So, right now, you can't do an early call like that, but I would probably have waited a bit, like gotten a few more um, more spins or hits on him, and then waited with calling him when he was he was slow, but I guess you can also okay. harass him. Like, yeah, you, okay. I think, like, you could use a self, self right now and then dive him under the tower, but it's it's kind of risky. You can also just yeah. use another tanku and then... I always do these risky things. <laughs> yeah. but so, so right now we have to think about... Um, anti mage is completely shut down right now. Yeah. So so true. this day of things like we're fine with this. We don't really have to force anything. Yeah, we're we're completely true. fine with this because we're farming and anti mage is not farming. Um, when do you usually uh, skip creeps or do you uh, skip creeps sometimes? Um, I don't do this very often. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by skip? Like if you um, you can can you see me drawing here? So like you ah, stand right okay. here and then you um, just take the creep so they will force to. Go I to would the do this on this lane, yes, but most of the time I don't do this because it's it's too risky. Yeah. Um, with with aches, but uh, do you have a oh yes problems? Do yeah, you I have an advice? Um, like right now we just need to um, to like perhaps stay, just stay at the lane and just stay with the creeps um, because if we if we're staying with the creeps, there's like pretty much nothing they can do. Um, and this AM, like, he's just he's getting so shut down. So yeah. I think we should just um, stay with the Legion Command and just stay at the lane. And we can soon can get our um, can get our boots now. And we might consider getting a magic stick now. Okay. Since it will, it can help us if we're like complete drain of mana, then we can get That's use cool. magic stick and then get a call. Um, but 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 we are completely fine with the state of things since. Um, he just went back and TP'd, um, and for some reason they're doing they're doing a tr double uh, double off lane um, or dual lanes. Oh, yeah, that was a missed opportunity. That's just fine. It's um, like even even if you don't kill him, he's getting no farm. So if so, right now we just we know that our bottom lane are pretty much stable. Um, we know that we are winning this bottom lane. So yeah. uh, what we need to think about is, okay, how are the other lanes doing? Um, try to like talk about the other lanes. What what do you think will can happen in this game, or how do you think the other lanes are going? Um, I think that Necro is standing very okay. I think because yeah. um, he doesn't doesn't have much problems against Slark. I think. Yeah. Um, and I will buy TP now because then. 
I can help him if he's being larked. Yeah, that's a very good idea. And the top lane, I, I have no clue, but <laughs> most of the time one recognizes if they die. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's not... You're right, I have to focus on that a lot more. So, um, do you use um, colors on the minimap? Or do you use um, hero yeah. icons? Uh, I use hero icons because I'm I'm color blind. That's ah okay. <laughs> I use I use hero icons as well. I think that's way better than using colors. Yes. So um, you um, you skilled a point in Battle Hunger level four, and I I guess I actually I had one game where I was X, I was level four, and I just skilled the uh, Berserker's Core level two, and then Counter is level two. And I just, yeah. I think I chased like an enemy for one minute or something and just couldn't get close to him. So <laughs> I usually also always have, that, that's where I learned that you all, I guess you always get a value point in Battle Hunger and then it's, I usually it's just leave valuable. It I think so yeah. too. But yeah. maybe some of, sometimes when you, I mean in this situation against the anti-mage, it could be worth it to go for the second Berserker's call, but... Yeah. Mm. I think it's fine. Yeah. Do you ever use uh, smoke uh, when you play? Do you ever buy, buy smoke? Um, I buy smokes, but mostly just with supporters. Okay. So in this game, as an axe, and especially against a slug, when you have your blink dagger and you want to kill slug, um, yeah. you're probably going to need a smoke. Against slug, you usually want a, a smoke solo. So we actually, if we if we look more at the top lane, then we could actually um, rotate and go in. Um, I think we yes. should probably get our triangles put first. It's it's kind of it's a it's a really tough decision um, because the, what it's gonna mean is that it will mean that we will leave anti mage alone and we will farm. So I'm not sure what is the right call if we want to gank top or if we want to try to keep anti mage down. Mm. This I don't want to gank top because I think it's a bit risky because of the disables. Okay. It's not very sure that we can get a kill on Invoke or Dazzle. A Slaughter, not Dazzle. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I think if you um, go out of range and TB back behind the tier 2 tower, I think you can get an easy double kill. Um, I do that. So it's very important that you go out of the vision range because if they have vision they can hear you. Yes. Um, so they will probably have, they might have a ward top, so running this way, if they have a ward, they will see you, but we can try to just run and see if they have a ward. Okay. And then just um, blink a couple, a ping a couple sound, the teammates should see, then you can just go on them. So I get a double call? Yeah, that's very good, it's a double call. It's really good. So we got him, and now we can get that as well. Yes. So it's a really good rotation. It will probably last for it, but I think we can dive if you just tank it a bit. Okay. <laughs> So we will get the kill and it's fine. I would have tagged a bit because then you, we are sure that we will can go in, but it's fine. Like so, you get a double kill. Um, but that what that means is that um, anti mage his farm will be opened up. Exactly. I I will go down as soon as possible, but I I want to pressure the tower here a bit. So I think that that is actually a good idea. But the the weaver is saying that you shouldn't push. Um, okay. And now, <laughs> so you, you might actually be able to bait, but we can just like run and now we get an extra kill. So that's that's fine. I think I would probably just have gone back because when we got that that kill, it's um, okay. it's it's like fine, and then we have a viewer who doesn't want to to push. So so we we got top, kill top, but that means that the bottom lane is opened up. And right now, I think AM is probably farming, so I would just rotate back bottom. Okay, I'll do that. Um, is okay, he's died, that's not very good. But I think that... Um, like it can be a good addition, uh, idea to to push the uh, pressure of the tower, but it's usually also a good idea to like listen to what your team is saying, because... Okay. Um, we were we were asked for the farm and you um, you kind of took it and like normally it's no big deal but you might actually have teammates who goes like can get really angry and almost throw the game like um, 
So with English, we have to kind of think, do we want to gank mid or do we want to gank yeah. person? I, I, I'd rather gank down yeah. because Slark is going so, back. So we can uh, have the LC to bait and then you can get a like dual. Uh, but we can just wait, like we don't, there's no hurry right now. Um, right now we, do, we will need some more creeps and especially when they come for him, you can just call and I guess LC can dual, but we guess we have to call now. Yeah. And let's see if we can uh, ulti him, ulti, ulti. So he gets, oh, so you should have ulti there, so he gets the dual uh, win. I'm not sure, did you have mana for ulti? Nah, that's the oh, Okay, okay. I think if we used magic stick and time it right, we could maybe have done I'm not sure how many charges you had. I got one hit by, by anti-mage that was, I okay. think. Okay, sure, sure. So that's, I would say that's not a very good trade since we kind of trade yeah. LC for anti -mage. Um But it but, was really a bit early of him to go in. Yeah, yeah, you, you really didn't have any, any choice because uh, LC was initiating, so. But I think we like we almost have enough mana that we can almost LC. Um, and he also, also low, so it's, he will probably hit you, but if you get a chance, it's... I think I'll just um, stack the ancients. Yeah. And um, try to get the dagger. Okay. Or do you have another? Uh, yeah, I'm so so if anti mage is alone, if we see Lina anywhere on the map, I think we should keep pressing anti mage or pressuring okay. him. Okay. Um, but right now we we don't see Lina, so I think it's a good idea. We can stack the ancients, then we can secure the next rune, and then see what we're gonna do from there, okay. there on. Um, so. Do you stack uh, ancients most of the time? I I fail very often. F Fifty three and then pull them to the left. So just pull them down and put, just keep oh, running okay. to the left. Okay. So yeah, it's, I think it's I was a bit slow. I think it's it might actually. I think it might be fine. Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah. Okay. So let's see if they actually stacked. Uh, yeah, 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 stack yes, very stack. much ancients. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they push down and I will go to the lane. I think. Yeah. Or. So so right now I would I would recommend that you actually mute like LC like you are so stupid and okay. the weaver because they're just flaming and at least I mute them because I know if um, okay, okay. De it's gonna detract me from the game. Okay. Um, okay. So it's it does I guess it's more like a personal preference. It, sometimes it can be really bad to mute your teammates because they actually give you good information. Um, but so like when the AM goes on you on that like that you just want to call him because you use your mana and then he. He, then he, it won't be. Um, You're right. Be, uh, then won't be come damaged, and he's gonna drain your mana anyway. So. Uh, it's dangerous. Uh, Lina's level six, so she can really. Yeah, kill me. it's. I think we should probably um, try to maybe go ancient. See if we can just get two, or like okay. just a, just a small creeps. I'm not sure if we can actually do it. Um, or else we can just go to the jungle and just farm our blink dagger. We will okay. have a pretty decent blink dagger timing. Now he's not kind. So we can just call. And just try, if you just get one kill, and just one spin more, and then just go back. I think go back, go back, go back. Yes, uh, I want to. <laughs> okay, then just go back, it's fine. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, I'm, I think we can't kill that. But now we have a blink and we can also get a smoke. So um, right now we have to decide, do we want to like keep AM down or do we want to keep the rest of the team down? Uh, um, I want to keep AM down because I think it's very possible now to okay. jump. So what we have to, re I think we should buy a smoke now and head bottom down. Okay. And then you will have Weaver as well. So we can um, just get a smoke and then we can just head bottom and then smoke in a second. No, we actually just can also TP mid. Yeah. Ah. Problem is, I had, I had no money. But then you you can you can sell your just sell your branch and then buy a TP. Yeah, but that wouldn't still not be enough. Yeah, you would have, you would have had enough money, but it's I don't think I think you would probably be too late still. Okay. Um, they might have a ward chop, but they probably don't. So I think we can just smoke uh, now. Yeah, but then uh, slag is here, so okay. we can smoke if you can get a three man jump. Um, but you might have actually been too close now. Like you can't go so close at the night because they have a slack. So if you're gonna smoke, you're gonna need to like keep keep standing here. If you go right here, then slack might be actually able to see you. And if he saw you, then it's pretty much over. All right. Um, but we can also stand like here. And as long as they don't have slack, we don't need to smoke. Um, 
But also, like, when you get your first blink dagger, it's pretty good to just stand behind, like, a carry or weaver. So uh, we can just wait, see if we can get a jump on. Uh, do you think we should use it with wench together? You can do that, but yeah, you can you can try to do that smoke and just go close and just be ready to jump him if if AM comes um, comes close. So we can just stand um, behind like there. I would yeah. So what happens oh, is like oh. yeah. So yeah. so uh, now we saw you. So so that's like I would I was about to say that you should go to the right because there might be like a support here. Yeah. And then that dispels the smoke, um, and they might even have a ward there as well. So that's too bad. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you have to think about um, what kind of range do you need to be in when you smoke. You have your blink dagger range, which you can niche it on. So you, you kind of just need to be in the range where where your blink dagger uh, is closest to your melee creep. Um, so we can try to jump in here. It's kind of he knows you here, but we can try. So we have like a really good opportunity now. You you should have taken that opportunity. You had creeps. Okay, that's also very good. And then slam, very good. Okay, they had actually like, dazzle behind him. So <laughs> I'm not sure if we want to dive the tower, but we know there's a dazzle no, no, behind him. No, 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 I don't think so. But just scare him a bit. So try to talk to me about Slag and what's happening with Slag right now. Um, What do you mean? So Slag has gotten a lot of kills. Yeah, that's true. And mm -hmm. what can we do about that? We can go in, jump in and call. <laughs> yeah. And or when are we gonna when are we gonna jump in and call? Uh, when he has his ultimate on. We need to TV right now. It probably maybe a still DD. It's a, okay. No. S so yeah, um. So so right now I was just more talking generally about what we can do against Slack, and that's um. So so, what what I was trying to get at is that um, when Slack is is he almost has his loaders and he's really strong now. Yes. And what we can do right now is that we can stand behind our allies. So we don't want to initiate on Slag because we can't solo kill him. But what we can do is that we can wait for him to initiate on your, one of your allies and then you can uh, be ready and jump on them and okay, then jump okay. on Slag and then probably kill Slag. So what we need to do right now is we need to predict where Slag is going to hit next. Okay. Um, I think he would go... <laughs> yeah, he's top. <laughs> yeah, you can see him top now. So I think you should you should just get a, get a smoke and just have it on you and then just try to to be ready and try to counter initiate on Slack. Um, and he's, um, I think he's like the top priority to shut down right now because he has his shadow and he's just gonna yes, keep. That's, it will be very hard. So if we can get top somehow without Slack noticing his thing, mm -hmm. it, maybe we can tip it. To, oh, let's see, if, can we see Slack? Is he behind Antimage there? Or is he top? Okay, he's there. So, so I think like, and there's very few people do it, and that's just like counter daughter. So we know that Slack, Slack, he wants to get kills constantly. Yeah. And um, farming jungle right now is kind of risky because Slack might shadow bait and then check for the, for you in the jungle. Okay. So I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend standing um, behind someone and to counter initiate. And it's right now. Sometimes it can be quite obvious to know what he, what he's going for. Uh, okay. Right now it's kind of difficult, so, and yeah. you may need to just like look at what's happening and then just. Mm. And also, like, if if Slag isn't doing anything much now, he's probably shadow based somewhere. Maybe maybe now ju your jungle. But sometimes, like, we we try to get on him, but couldn't really do it. Then it's fine to also just farm and then try okay. to get our next item. Um, That's a bit uh, odd of him to just farm our jungle. Yeah. Mm. So we know. So what? Since we check minimap instantly, we know that Slag is bottom right now. Yeah. So um, sometimes mm. it's also you can't really do much because there are uh, your Nikolite decided to to dive really, really far. So that's like that's um, it's actually too bad that you do actually uh, do, um, did your ultimate there because LC tried to was almost almost got his dual off. Um, okay. It's it's a kind of it's a tough decision because AM might blink away, but um, exactly. I I was very <laughs> afraid that he might blink away. Yeah. And I yeah, that's right. I didn't even the, think about it. Um, depending on your ping, it's he uh, it didn't do the blink animation, so we could have waited a bit. But it's it's also fine to jump him. But it's also like every time you play with the LC, you you always have to be aware that um, can can we actually get a LC dual off him? 
Yeah. So what I would recommend is that you go back instantly because you might actually be jump on slack any moment. Okay. This is very dang dangerous. You need to go back and, then I'm dead. And, and you need to use your medic stick and then TP home. And then we need to... Um, so, so also running back like that, it's really da dangerous against slack. I think you need to TP right now. Yep, there comes slack. So, so, so slack is just out hunting you and you almost died there. And the reason you didn't die was that Slack has gotten a bit nerfed, so that's probably the reason you didn't die. But, um, like, I have played so much against Slack, and when you play so much against, you pretty much know almost exactly what it's going to do. So, so as soon as I saw you try to, to like, run back there, I knew that you were in danger. Um, okay. And, uh, well, we, we survived, but it's... Um, we, we need to, like, do more... Is that... Uh, so, if we can get... Okay, you can't get doing. But um, we need to, like, if you go smoke right now, so, so you, you, it's, very, it's so important you don't show yourself on the map. Because Slag is going to kill a kill, and he's, if he sees you, then he's, he's not going to go for it. So actually Slag might just be right here at the moment, and then he might actually see you, so he knows so that you're standing there. In the, so, in so the, uh, I would actually use my smoke right now, because I think these two mid are pretty high target. Oh, they're actually going bust. If you saw Slack right here, he's actually bot right now. So okay. I would hit bot and then wait wait for him to initiate okay, on someone. Okay. So so Slack is the most important hero and right now we can't like go straight bot, but I would just suggest that you just stand right here and then ask maybe Vince to bait okay, you can okay. see Slack come down. Ah oh, Blaine! So 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 we, so we really have to be like um fighting against Slack right now is is um is like the the most it's we really have to be one step ahead of him all the time. And that's okay. so, so difficult. And it takes a lot of practice against Slack. But sure. but we have to... Uh, you could jump him with Sandstone Tower, but he's probably not going to do that. Um, but you also must remember that you are a target for Slack as well. Okay. And going out of tower range right there is really Should dangerous. I go Blade Mail? Um, I think you should do, do Blade Mail. That should be fine. Um, can try to run to the jungle, yeah, then LC is going to come. Me. He could have okay. killed me. Yep. You can get slack if you stun, stun, slack, slack. Oh, he doesn't stun, slack, stun, slack. Range pull, why don't you stun, slack? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I have to check if French pull had stun on. Um, <laughs> for some reason. Okay, he had a cooler. Okay, that's fine. So he'd probably oh, have no, 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 um, no. I'm not sure you can do much about him. No, I can't do anything. Um, <laughs> But it's, it's very, very close, and your reaction was very good. Um, and um, I think I have like your whole team muted now, so that's uh, <laughs> that's great. But that's also fine. Um, so so I would say um, the way you played um, is 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 like it's um, it's a pretty good way you played. Like I would say that um, right now Slack is um, probably. The Better, a better hero, a better um, player than the rest of your team. So okay. um, you might be the one who's like matched against Slack in comparison to MMR. Um, okay. And what we need to do is that we need to think about our teammates like a bunch of kids, uh, which doesn't really know that the ice might break at any moment. Uh, so as you can see, like the <coughs> there, we wait to counter initiate. Then maybe he's gonna ult. Then you can ult as well, perhaps. Oh. Can you get ulti off? Oh, can blink and ulti, blink and ulti. Ulti, ulti. Magic stick, magic stick, ulti. Oh. Ah, everything cooldown, man! Yeah, so so we didn't actually have enough mana for the, the combo. Um, and it's important! <laughs> it's no problem. So so what was important there is that um, I would have had I would have another position than you had there. Because I would know that uh, allow what happened is that as soon as you got the slag away from Neko. He turned around and used everything he had on Neko. Allowing everything he had on slag. And when he did that, slag was very low. Our yep. positioning there was about two or three seconds away from slag. And we did had we didn't have we had blink there on cooldown. Yep. So if we had if we had kept close to slag, then we could have just ult him right away and we could, we, we would have killed slag. Okay. So, but it's really a, like a test of by fire or something like that going against okay. Slag. It's 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 Slag is such an insanely good pop hero because you need to pretty much play perfectly against him. And you also, since he has night vision, we also need a lot of smoke. So it actually, it's really a, it's a really an interesting game to to look okay. at this. Should I get blade mail or something different? Um, I think we should get blade mail. Okay. 
that's <laughs> I did want to ask that question <laughs> ten minutes ago, but I forgot every time. <laughs> no okay, that's not good. Come on. I go, don't go in. Yeah, that's probably the best call. Um, so I would also get the plus uh, damage, so you can get you get the most expo expensive component of bait mail. So if you die right now, you won't um, you okay. won't lose the gold. If you are if you want to like do it perfectly, you should always wait until you have the item or until you're about to die, because then you will um, use mostly your um, your unreliable gold and not your reliable gold. But um, it can be really harder. Also, when I'm coaching, you're looking at other stuff. So Slag might actually go on you right now. But he's going on Vengeful. Counter initiate, he can duel now, he can duel, if he's gonna duel. Uh, I think Slag might just be too we strong at the moment. We can't do it, we can't do it. Yeah. We actually need, I think Neko might TP in and he might ulti Slag, so we can call him now. And take him maybe to Neko, okay, you can run around the tower, run around the tower. I don't think he should be standing. So, Slag is, is a pretty tough hero right now. Uh, I think he's Shadow Blade as well. I think yeah. we should get a dust uh, against him. Um, and we should should probably drop our wards or place them somewhere. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's not the best thing. It's, it's, kind, it's kind of difficult to know when to farm or when not to farm. And especially against Slag, like right now, we can't really farm anywhere. Because Slack, we see him on the minimap. Yeah, but it's his invis. His invis, yeah. and he might go. Yeah. Okay, I feel safe because of the TP, but. Yeah, I don't know, that's just. Failed. So, so it, it, it's okay not to TP straight away, but then I think you need to. Um, you need to have your blink dagger on and ready. But okay. the ex actual way I found, you actually know with you trading your kill for Slack. Yeah. Um, but but it's it's fine that you don't run back, and as long as you're in tower range, you should be fine. But what actually happened? I'm pretty sure what happened is that Slack uh, went in for you, and um, then missed his pounce on you. But then he used his dead pact, and that did some damage to you, and that mean, meant that you couldn't bring away. So if you just had had been ready for Slack, then you could just easily have, have uh, blinked away yes. from him. Yes, that's true. Ah, oh, nice, but, uh, nice. Your team are coming back in, and um, what um, I think you should get dust. So I think you should probably sell your stout shield and get a dust for slack. Um, I give it. I give to wench my yeah. my war. Yep. And so, what heroes? What what hero is the best hero to stay behind? Um. I think it's about Necro. Yeah, Necrolite. So, so with Necrolite, if Slack jumps Necrolite, you can counter initiate, so Necrolite will live a bit, and then he can actually turn it around and he can ulti and dig on Slack. And I think you should get probably a smoke and then just stand behind Necro, or just keep standing behind Necro and then maybe ferry a smoke out to you. But okay. don't stand like don't stand too far away, but don't stand too close so Slack can can see can see that you are actually waiting there. And I would try to stay in the trees if I could. Uh, but we all we also must expect that Slag actually might go on you, uh, since he can shadow blade, and yeah. there also might like there might come five men going on Nico, so it's it can be tough. But he's going now. You can just jump him. And then then he will also be ready to go. So um, I want to use it because of the. Oh yeah, I guess because of the yeah the Nico. Um, yeah, yeah. That, uh, yeah, I like that thing. Too bad that um, Dazzle used uh, last yeah, one on him. Very nice reaction of him. Yeah, uh, actually, I think that's when I'm thinking about that. I think that's actually the, the best move to to just use it on him for the extra damage, and not trying to get the killing blow. Um, oh man, so then, he's he's so, raping us so hard. <laughs> not yeah, funny. If, if you had buyback, you could perhaps have bought back there. Okay. Yeah. I think that could maybe. I'm not sure if that would have been worth it since he's so strong, but. Um, it's it's too bad they had that asshole there. Else it would have been really good. But 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 you can see that I think that's a lot. Of, a lot of players don't really um, have any teamwork with the team. Can you get? Yeah, I can get an item. Like they they just they see uh, someone feeding and they see someone keep feeding. And they, what they do is not okay. How can I 
protect this guy, how can I help him? It's more like, okay, he's feeling he's a bad player, let's let's flame him. Um, yeah, that's true. But, but what you're doing right now is very important, is just recognize what hero is uh, most at risk. And right now it's Necrolite. So I think I think I don't think you should farm the jungle okay. right now. I, th okay, okay, I think okay. I think you should stay behind Necrolite pretty right, much all the, all the time. Um, okay. Maybe if you're like 200 gold away from your blade, but you can see like somebody's going on Necrolite as well, and I can just call him and then just yep. So so we also had Reaver there, so that was I think even if you were, went there, it was what. Have been bad, but now like Ensmate is like he's angry. Oh, you're five all the time and stuff like that. Uh, so what we can try to do is run around the tower. That probably wouldn't have been enough, but sometimes it can can help. Yeah. I think Slag is hiding to the right, but he's probably his full HP. Yeah, he's running. He's, mm. he's probably hiding over here. I would guess. Um, probably jumping range for soon. But um, I think, so we need to uh, keep on uh, our Nikolite and we need to be aware that Slug is so powerful right now that it's pretty much only Nikolite uh, and you combine, which can kill him. Yeah, I think that's the only way to really kill him, but... Uh, but, the... but, but your Weaver is very, very strong and he can pretty much solo and he doesn't need to be... A, be a, um, be uh, what to say careful of slack. So like you don't need to be uh, close to a weaver, um, but we we need to be close to a Nikolite. So let's just uh, TB in and just as soon as possible just go to Nikolite. Um, okay. And just so so right now you're just like Nikolite is a little ba baby and you're just gonna babysit him as much as you can. Stay close to him. Stay, he's gonna ulti. He's gonna ulti. Ulti, 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 ulti. Oh, why not? <laughs> Try to ulti, but then too slow, I guess. Um, let's, I guess, you, you have kind of, you know, contained slack. Oh, he can duel, he can duel, I think. Yep, duel, just keep it in, keep it in. Okay. That's cool, he got the duel win. So, so right now, we have kind of, um, slack had a moment where he was really just going far ahead. And we have kind of contained slack right now. Yep. Um, and you can say stop the bleeding. And right now, as soon as we as we just if we just stay with Nikolite, then we have uh, LC who's got some good dual wins, and we have Weaver who's farmed really well. So it actually looks pretty well. Look pretty okay. good. That's very good advice because normally I would um, pay much more attention, of course, of on my farm. Yeah. But uh, with your with the discussions that we had and everything like this, um, I think that yeah, my my farm of course very suffered. Yeah. Because I, I, I really like to get a lot of farm on eggs, but I think that that was, of course, not perfect. <laughs> yeah. Not nearly perfect executed, but I know what you mean and I understand it. That's yeah. the important thing for me. No, that's bad. Yeah, no problem. So, so um, if you run to Nikolite and just ult him or something. So, um, yeah, he's, so if you had ult him there, Nikolite would have gotten the... Okay. Uh, gotten the, yeah. he, he would have gotten the kill there. So it's also, you, you usually see with, with the pros, what they do is then when they're about to die, they will just use all the spells, like just use the spells. And if and that was actually a really good um, example of how just like usually you're thinking, okay, Slag is jumping me, he's almost full HP, he's almost killing me. Why should I use my calling bait on him? It will do uh, 250 damage to him, but <laughs> why should I do yeah. that? That's that's silly. But we actually yeah. had a Nikolite who, who was coming towards him and we, who was gonna gonna duel him. So uh, and as Slag ended up escaping with like 100 HP or something like that. So yeah. so you could we could actually have had a dead Slag right now. Um, but again, I think like when you're dying, it's because you're not staying with Nikolite. Okay. And um, you know we can't try to help Wench, but if if Slack goes in Wench, um, you can go in and, and call. But then you're gonna die afterwards. Yeah. So. Okay. So like Nikolite is your best friend, and mm -hmm. um, I would say with Axe, the only like let's say that Slack has Shadow Blade and um, he's gonna go, he's going on a killing spree, and. Let's see how this goes on. Okay. 
Og så so I think you actually yeah, missed. got the, yeah you you as you you missed it, but you also used it after he had um, he had he had he had gotten his uh, sky or uh, reboss damage off the necrolite ulti off. Um, so yep. we we could have probably done more, and then it would have been faster, and then he would have gotten yep. more. But he still died, and we still got control of this game. So so what I was talking about is um, when should you do this babysitting of your team, and if you didn't have your blink, then I would say don't do it. But when you have your blink, then you pretty no. much, yeah, then you pretty much have all the, the the items you need. So we still got the kill, and we can just TP out. I think you should just TP out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I think like that that was less. Um, so so let's say you you're needing you need uh, three hundred gold for your blink dagger. Then then I don't think you should have babysat. Um, Nicolai. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but then you should find your blink. Um, but 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 when you have blink and tranquils on X, like, of course you can get more items that's gonna be better. But you don't like there's not gonna be a game changing item you're gonna get afterwards. Yes, and and uh, especially with that kind of lineup we have, it's not yeah. necessary that I am a really really strong card like, yeah. as a hero. So I totally agree with you and. Yeah. I'm so, so what I would like to see from you right now is one, stay with Nikolai, and the second, stay off the map as much as possible. You don't want Slack knowing where you are. And right now, Nikolai is the target. So I, okay. I'm, I, I don't even like that you farmed dragons right now because uh, I think you should st stick with Nikolai like pretty much all the time. Okay. And maybe we can start sticking with Weaver when if he gets so strong. But he he's not really afraid. He can just get solo pickoffs. Um, but but you could farm the dragons, then you have a bit more gold. But that's not really gonna help you that much, and uh, it's much worse if Nikolai actually dies um, right now. Okay. And, and Nikolai, like, um, you must think that when I talk, like, he was like kind of like this little child, and you have to to protect. Um, you you can see like he's farming so way out, and he's just farming mid, and right now AM is just coming on him. Um, so. Yeah, but he kills him. Yeah, so it's fine. Now, if we can get a call on Slack, that would be really great. That's, we, I don't think we should go on Dazzle. I think we just ignore Dazzle and then try to get Slack. Uh, Slack is in the jungle right now. Yeah, it's tip it. Yeah. So, um, right now, say we have kind of two cores, which uh, we need. We can protect both Weaver and Nikolai. But I think, I think at all times, and there's like pretty much no exceptions. At all times, you should always be close to one or the other. Okay. Um, I go there. Top. Yeah. And um, try to like be as stealthy as possible. And it's also going to be pretty hard because this weaver is going to move very fast. Um, but we have to we have to remember that as a, as an X right now, this game we are pretty much like a support almost. I would say. Yeah. And um, right now we can do a whole lot just staying with our course. And right now you get a gem, so we can just pick up the gem there. That's great. So, so I that's really. Is that okay? You can is do that... it. Um, I don't think you can solo him, but you can try. Okay, but I I want to defend the tower. Yeah, that's that's fine. And also, like when Slag is dead, then you can like kind of relax. So we have like about 70 seconds where we can just chill out, just um, pretty much chill out. Of course, we have to remember that. Should I get um? I'm tempted to buy a Shiva Scarred, I think, because I just like this item on X. Sure, um, we can get Shivas. Um, I'm not sure how good is it is against AM. I think... Do we have any Vladimir's on the team? No. I think like Vladimir's or the Crimson Guard, I think you may... Crimson Guard, okay. Yeah, so, so like we could get Shivas, but... Right now we have 16 armor and we have only 1,300 HP, so we're not really gonna get that much out of it. I guess the the active is still good. I, think. I can just yeah, I can just save. I think right now, so Slag is respawning. And what do you think Slag is gonna do as soon as he respawns? As soon as he respawns, he go he goes. Mm. Just you know, just you know, he's gonna look for a kill. So he's yeah. gonna and and what you need to do is like as soon as he respawns, you need to look. What what kind of vision does he have? So and and so and what is gonna what is he gonna think? And I think okay. right now, 
I think he's, he's probably a cheap it to the top tower, and I think he's gonna go for he's coming for you um, okay. right now. And I almost want you to stay just to see if he's coming for you, but let's just run back. Okay, let's um, see. But but he can also be in the, that jungle, so um, I think we should just like stay with our course and just. Um, okay. So 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 that, there's like I would say there's like maybe a fifty percent chance that he might go for you because. I think he, so too that that he would be uh, yeah, he, going for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's coming down with a haste. So so that's like uh, as soon as we have wealth, that that's fine. And now he's gonna run into all of your team, and um, it's probably Shadowblade right now. Um, yeah, it's there. It's so there. if we can catch him in this ult, that would be really good. No, that's not good. Try to call. Okay, let's try to just lift if we can, and try to just call him. Just call him, and yeah. So the, everyone was in the in, in the um, jungle, so that's. I think we we could probably have had a vanguard at that point, and that could have yeah. probably helped us. Um, but again, like we could go alone, but if Slack jumps, even though we TP survive, we don't really get anything out of it. It's and it's like actually get get something out of it. So there's there's pretty much really no reason to be alone, except maybe if they're pushing out our high ground. And there's like a lot of creeps, and sure we can defend it. But as a general rule, I would say just stick with your team mm -hmm. um, and just wait for Slack to initiate on one of your teammates and then jump in and counter okay. initiate. Um, and we actually bought our Vanguard there, and that means we don't have buyback. Um, that's right. So yeah. that's that's just something to think about. Um, yes, unfortunately. They, they probably <laughs> won't push, but if they had Meepo, they could probably just take out our. Nah, they, they can take a Rex, I think, because our Necro is the most important hero. We can get our Vanguard now, and then we should try probably... Mm. I think we should probably just jump in, try to uh, jump in and call, run a bit back. Um, mm, it's get the as well. Well, I think we could have went in. Okay. Um, it's gonna be risky, and we need a good call. I think we had an opportunity right now, we just kinda need to disengage, we can't just stand in there. Um, can ult him. So I think you should have ulted the Lina. Um, so he gets the dual win, but I guess you ulted the Slug. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, I Slug. So they get our, they get the, the Rex. I think you should push right now mid. Yeah. Could probably also the Roche, but I guess you should just counter push. Slug. So. Um, can Slug buy back or not? Mm, I don't does, know. Does, does Nico have a... Um, have Arcanons? No. Okay, so he can... You sit on him, but I think he doesn't... So he can probably... Slack might actually be able to buy back. Or... He had a really long time, I think... I'm not sure. Well, if he buys back, we need to be careful, because you don't have much. Um, but if he doesn't buy back, you should be able to get the Vexes pretty easily. And I think we need to get a Rex or or Roshan right now. I think we can get a Rex. Slag won't buy back and then you can probably also get a tier 2 tower. So try not to, yeah, he's buying back, so try not to dive too much. You can, you should try to disengage right now. So you should just pretty much just blink and TP away. So when you blink, what you want to do is you want to blink to um, places where they can't like see you at all. So if you can blink in the middle of the trees, like a sweet spot yep. in the middle of the trees, that's the best right. thing. Yeah. So I think we can get our Crimson Guard now. Crimson Guard. Oh man. And that's, I think that's gonna, uh, it's gonna help us at least against Slark and it's, it's gonna help your team um, and help them survive. Um, and I think we might actually consider getting a uh, Vladimir's afterwards. Okay. Since the plus armor is going to be pretty decent and Voga will also have more lifesteal. I don't like too much that you go on loan because Slark can just come and he's coming for you right now. Um, and if yeah, you right. die right now, you don't have five decision. It was very stupid. It's fine. It's fine. So, so it's just like... Um, it's, <laughs> it's not it's not TI fine saying so things. Like people make mistakes. Yeah, um, it's just stupid. I didn't so, even look or think about it. So. That's fine. 
so um, what we need to um, like I, I, you can probably get a, a a solo pick off if you have perhaps something like maybe if you're more farmed or some creeps close to him but uh, right now it means that they took you out so they might actually get another set of frags but let's see I think oh. your team might be able to to defend against it so and I, I told you to buy Crimson Guard, but that actually meant that we didn't have buyback. So it, that's a bit risky. Um, and one thing we need to realize, like when we take a risk like that, we need to kind of play a bit more conservative. Yeah. Mm, it's... Wow. It's really wow, we were so farmed. Jesus. J yeah. So Slag is actually still in the fight. <laughs> he just got two crits in a row. That's Jesus. crazy. I guess the crit used only to be on the first hit. You can only crit yeah. on the first. Wow. But I think they changed it. Yeah. You should go on Slag. Use everything you got on the app. Oops, will he die? Oh, I think we should have had a dust. If we had a dust there, I think we'd be able to chase okay. him down. Like, magic stick is still nice to have, but it's better to have a dust. Okay, okay. So, we will come, but... Not sure if he's... He might actually get him. We should have a dust right now. He's gonna probably shadow blade again. I think you should just go back and buy Dust right now. He has 24 stacks on you, so he's really found. Yeah. And he's pretty much playing this hero perfectly, like almost, except that he dies there. But <laughs> um, I, he actually doesn't have a timer right now. I think that's a bug. Uh, do you see a death timer on Slack? No, I don't see. I think either. it's it's probably it's so long that it doesn't display right now. <laughs> so I think if we wait, like yeah, now it comes. So. I think like above 130 it doesn't display for some reason. Okay. Um, I think you should go for Tron. I think you should tell your teammate to go for Tron right now. It's too bad you can't buy back, but you might... Uh, I'm not sure if you can finish it. Um, mm. So the hour is actually up right now. Um, I think... Um, like I think this... Well, what, what kind of um, things would you take away from this game? Or, Kind of things would you think are uh, like important in this um, game? Um, it's that I. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Um, it is uh, totally uh, not my game that I played. I was really uh, and I don't, like, like really don't focus don't focus too much on the game, but just like more. Is there anything that you would kind of do differently in upcoming games? Of so, course, so because I'm. Um, I'm much uh, more focused on myself and yeah. on my game and I don't care very much about the others so and, and especially with a hero like Axe he's pretty much almost perfect against a hero like Slack yes. where you can just he goes for someone you just go in and call him and it's a hard disable which means that he, even though he does his shadow dance and he tries to purge it off it won't be purged off so it's it's pretty much um, like this perfect counter initiator to Slack um, yeah. and if, if we had stayed, like I think in about 50% of the cases we were close to our teammate like Nikolite and we could counter initiate. But if, yes. if, if we had stayed with him at all times, then uh, then it would have been like, Slack would just be completely shut down. Yeah, which one is the real one? <laughs> oh, I think you got him. <laughs> nice. Um, so, so think about, um, like, try not to focus too much on your own farm and just uh, you know that the, the, you know like people they play so aggressive all the time they want to constantly have action like um, you it's only when you get up to really really high or almost professional players that yes. they actually might start to not just go try to gangs one all the time so so like a player like Slack he, he's he can be so predictable like you can usually you can if when you have got a bit of experience against Slack players like that you know like almost all the time where they're gonna be so so sometimes I was able to call that well we need to be careful now or go there because uh, go and protect Nikolai because Slack would probably go for him um, yeah so do we have do we have any uh, other general questions before I uh, leave you 
Um, no, I just want to thank you because I think it's a very uh, good experience to hear yep. an opinion of a very good player, which I very, very respect as a person and also, of course, as a player. Sure. Um, and I thank you very much for this opportunity. Yeah. This is really, I really enjoyed uh, watching this game. It's really a very nice game. <laughs> also, yeah, uh, I um, would you mind if I uh, if I upload it to my uh, to my YouTube channel? No, it's okay. <laughs> I I have to. Yeah, I mean, it it was very. I I'm not that kind of player because, as I said in the beginning, I'm just uh, playing the way you described Slark and the normal pub player because. Yeah. I'm not playing like on a competitive level or something like this. Yeah. Nice. Very good. And uh, also, if you have to, if you have to go, I think we have an hour. We said. Yeah. And that's that's perfectly fine for me. Yeah. So so I could like it's just more. If you have any general questions, I would like you can just answer ask them now. But like I right now. At, at at the 50 minute mark, I can't like really coach you that much more. Yes. Like what what I, we have went through is pretty much, um, yeah, what what yes. happens. So and um, I taught me the one of the most important uh, lessons of all. So yeah, I it's think just generally you know, just use use your teammates, which are pretty much sometimes can be bad. Just use their like inexperience to your advantage and just use them as bait. Like they're they're. Your team is like, and, and uh, there's so few players that do that. But your teammates are usually like the perfect bait because they play so far out and they just uh, go yolo all the time. So it's it's like it's almost a like god given if you just like you just stand behind them and you just they just bait perfectly. So it's no, really no, nice. no 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 oh, So I think I'll, I'll just I'll just watch a bit more and see if you actually end the game now. <laughs> and um, if not, uh, so you, if you have like any questions or anything you want to ask me, ask me, you can just. Um, All right. No. Also, that's if if you have any hero, you think yeah, uh, interesting anything. Okay. No, I thank you very much, Slasher. Um, yeah. Was a very nice opportunity for me, and I'll see you maybe in a good clan or something like this in the future. Yeah. Also, oh, nice. Yeah. And uh, I think you actually might win now if you just focus the throne. <laughs> yeah, we we might really win. Just I think you might almost ignore Slag and just go for the throne. It's kind of a tough decision. Oh, we might be able to. Wow, he dies. This oh, Weaver man easy. is so found. I can get the throne now. Oh, can I get the throne? Get the throne, Weaver. Hit the throne, Weaver. Hit the throne, Weaver. No, 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 no. I want Weaver to survive because he ma he makes the damage. Okay, you won. <laughs> Very nice. Good game, man. It was a pleasure. Have a have a good day. You too. And yes, thank you very much for everything, yes. Slasher. And have a good day too. See you. Ciao. Bye. -bye.